Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Stacy with Crafty Dragon Creations. And today we're going to be doing another episode of working in our big idea journal. Um, if you remember last time, we made these stacked envelope pockets. So there's pockets in between or behind each one of those. So if, if you missed out on that, I'll link that below for you. Um, I'll probably actually start a playlist. So either this video will be linked below or the, the playlist link. But since this is only the second episode, well, I guess it's officially the third, if you count making the journal itself. Um, the playlist isn't very long, but either way, you can find a link down below to go watch this and how I made this journal. She's a big chunk. All right, so today we're going to be doing um, something else kind of with envelopes, um, but this is, they're not functional. They're going to be faux envelopes, and it's a great way to use up all kinds of scraps, um, different papers and stuff, so I have some here. Also, if you have these kind of offcuts, this is a great project to use for these, because these you can still, you know, coffee dye, tea dye, avocado, onion skin, however you dye papers. <laughs> you can still do that. You can still decorate them, stencil them, stamp on them, and still create these little envelopes. So this is a great way to use up stuff like this. Okay, so this is an idea I recently saw. I've seen it twice now, and I can't remember who I saw it from, so I apologize, um, but this is not my original idea. Okay, so let's just start with this paper here, and I am going to cut this down a little because I don't want it to be quite that wide, and it doesn't matter what size, we'll just do it like that. Because you're going to be making these little cluster, envelope clusters, so your envelopes can be all kinds of sizes. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to, well, let's see, not quite that tall. We're going to fold this up like this, and then I'm going to fold this down, and then I'm going to cut this. and I could probably even cut it let's cut it just a little bit more then you're going to create your little triangular shape for your flap and that have to be perfect So you have this, and then you're just going to glue all of this together. Maybe. There we go. So just glue that down, because these are not going to be functional envelopes. They're just going to be a decoration that, you know, they will be used. They do have a purpose, and we will get there. I mean, you, you can make some of them functional depending on where they are in your little cluster. Oops. Okay. Then we just have our little faux envelope. You can ink around it if you want to. Okay, so then let's do a bigger sized one. So depending on how tall you want your envelope, you just fold your paper up, okay, and then your flap, just so I can get an idea. So I'm probably going to cut it about a 
Probably about look right here. And then this is pretty rectangular, so our flap is not going to be quite so pointy, which is okay. Just fold your corners over. I guess you do want this to go all the way up so that you don't see that white. Okay. And then you fold this down. And if you want to make this a little straighter, <laughs> there we go. So then there is that one. So let me glue that together real quick. And I'm not using, you know, a whole lot of glue. It'll, it'll stay. Okay. So we have two different kinds there. I know this paper is weird to, <laughs> weird to show. Okay, so let's do another one. Now this one. And you kind of want to use thinner paper. I wouldn't recommend cardstock. I mean, you can use cardstock, but they'll be really super bulky. Okay, I'm just going to straighten this up a little bit. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll do this again. Let's make it a little straighter. Okay, and then you can also, once you fold it, see how mine is not even over there, then I'll just go in and trim it so I have a nice even line there. And then you bring this corner over to the top of your your fold and this one and you fold it over. Okay, so there we have three. I'm going to do a couple more just so that I can show you exactly what we're doing here. Let's see, this one I'm going to make a little bitty. I'm going to make a little bitty one. this or fold it go ahead and glue it that one. Okay. 
Okay. And let's do... I think that's good for now. I got different sizes. So then what you can do is make a little cluster out of these. Maybe like so. Or, you know, like this. Like this. We can add a different, different envelope. Okay. Then you glue these together. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know how I want to do it. I want it known that this is an envelope, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So you can glue these together. And then let's say this is our page. You can glue it down on your page and leave this. Let's see here. Let me find something. Leave this as a pocket. You could even have this be a little pocket right here. So, however you decide to glue it down. And then you can decorate it up even more. Okay. I'm going to do some more here real quick. Just so I have a good variety. Um, I'll either speed this up or cut it out and then we'll put some in our book. Okay, so I've made several envelopes, different sizes, different types. Okay, this is a, a great big one. <laughs> Book page. Okay, so now I can go to a page, and again, we're just going to do random. So we'll do right here. And let's ink these up a little bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. So let's say you have this, and then you could have this little envelope. I really should have inked that so you could see. Okay, so then you could just make a little collage of envelopes on here. And this can be a pocket. You could even make this a pocket, and you could make that a pocket. So let's do that. And then you have a big pocket up here. And get a thinner piece of paper here. Have a pocket there. And then you have 
a little pocket there. Great for tickets or whatnot. That's, an, that's a good idea. I'm gonna start putting just scraps of paper in there so I know I know what I did. Okay, so then let's say you have like this one. I use the same paper. So you can do same thing. You can still make those two little pockets. Um, let's say we have Let's see, I don't like that. Can make like a little cascading. These are all kind of the same size. A little cascading pocket. Let's do that up here. So you'll have pockets there. That'd be cute. Let's do that. go okay so this goes back in there okay, that goes in there and then we have a pocket here and a pocket there and a pocket there fun so then you could just make like a little two cluster one. So you can stack them like so. Okay, you can glue all of this together and just have this back part as a pocket. So having fun with little stacked faux envelopes. Fun. Alright. Well, there is that one. Actually, hold on. Hold on before I go. Let me just go ahead and... Yeah. So let's just glue these together and say you don't want all those pockets. Oh, that's really pretty. I kind of hate to cover that up. Let's see. Let's put that there. And I'll put that one up there. Okay. So then we'll just make this entire thing a pocket. To put it over here. Oh, that's okay. That was just a cute little cluster of envelopes. That's a pocket. <laughs> I'm just gonna put these. There we go. Fun. Oh, here's one I forgot to use. Okay, we'll use that in another project. So anyway, great way to use up scraps, make little pockets, and uh, yeah, have some fun with it. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Um, please hit that like button if you like this video and want to see more like this. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll know when I make more videos to go in our idea journal. And uh, yeah, you guys take care and until the next one. Bye bye.